this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play the Final Fantasy Legend! We're here at the Underwater Town. I don't think it really has a name, but... Well, we're here, so let's take a look around. Ryu-O lives above ground. Huh. Well, I've talked to everyone up there, but I never met anyone named Ryu-O. Maybe he's in hiding. Okay, so while we're here, let's get a few of those HP 200 potions. Now's a good time to get Tifa up to over 200 HP. You know what? Let's get one more. Oh, I'm full. Oh, we can sell the air seed now. Even though we're underwater and we kind of need it, you can just sell it anyway. You only need it to get underwater, so... Eh, game designer is as game designer does, I guess. Let's talk to this guy. Siraiu has the red orb. Okay. It's not really a sphere. Maybe it is the sphere. I don't know. Remember where the two lines cross. Okay, we'll take a look out for that. And Ryu O had the blue orb. Okay, so we got two orbs. Well, we were looking for the the blue one, weren't we? For the uh, that door there. It was locked by the magic of blue, I think. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got some good weapons. Now, here's one of the first weapons you get that has sort of an element to it. The coral sword. It... Uh, what is it, can deal critical hits to sea monsters, or anyone who's of the sea monster type. Um, I'm not going to get it. I mean, it's even the most powerful weapon in general that you can get right now, but it's just way too expensive for what you get out of it. I'd rather put all put 10,000 gold into boosting my strength than getting a coral sword, so not really interested in that, but just something you should know. Um, yeah, the special weapons actually do work in this game, unlike Final Fantasy 1, and... I don't think they worked in Final Fantasy 2 either. Let's see, we got Silver Gauntlets here, but I'm not particularly interested in it. For 500 gold, it boosts your defense by one compared to what you've got now. I don't think it's worth it, so. And they sell some other stuff here. Cure Books, uh, does what you think, same thing with Sleep. The book item, I think, deals damage to undead enemies or something like that. I don't care for that. So, okay, well that's everything we got. want to do here. So what I want to do is I want to use those HP 200 potions on Tifa, rest up at the inn, and then we're going to go monster hunting for some food, or for some meat, for my monsters. And let's see. I also eventually want to get Tifa's strength up to 49 before I start using those rocks, but I'm a little short on gold. I need like 4,500 gold for that to work, so... We'll get the meat, then by the time I'm done with those battles, then I'll have the gold I need to get those strength or strong potions. So let's rest up at the end, and then I'll be right back after using those HP 200 potions. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. I've got Tifa's HP well over 200 there, so we're ready to go. Need to get some more abilities for my mutants, so let's try to find some of those griffins. Now, the best place to do that is this way. Down those stairs. Now I'm just going to be walking around here. Let's see if I can meet up with the griffin. If I can't, well, I'll just... I'll edit the battle in somewhere. Oh, there's the griffins I was looking for. So let's send my single targeting attacks at that one. One electric spell should be able to take care of those piranhas, but that's mostly because I've got so much mana on my mutant there. Um, if you don't have that, I might have sent my submachine gun at the piranhas there too, but we should be able to take this guy down. He's got 150 HP, so he's a little tough, but not too much to worry about. Haha! -ha! We got the meat of the griffin! Alright! Took me a while, I was having so much trouble getting the meat to drop. I was finding the griffins, they're not like a rare enemy, but getting the meat you want is pretty tough. So, we want to get one uh, griffin meat for each of my monsters. We can do that for... Uh, Isis to become a raven, or we can do that for Crumb to become a serpent. I want to do that for both of them. So that's what I got there. How'd my mutant do? No change! Okay. Well, we got that going. So now I want to do that for my other monster there, and I'll be right back then. Okay, we're back, and I've completed the monster transformations that I wanted. Uh, Isis is really the good one. So we got Beak with a lot more agility than we did with an Albatross. So that one's going to deal quite a bit more damage. Uh, Nail, it's kind of, the, it's just there, but uh, you might as well just use Beak all the time because you're not going to run out of spell charges by the time we uh, get the next monster transformation we want. 
and Serpent. Pretty much there for the defense, although I can't keep him in front because it's weak to ice and we got phantoms out there with chill to worry about. Poison does what you think. It poisons your enemies. Not too useful. Bite, eh, that's a decent attack. It's not great. Not too bad either. I, again, I'm using this monster simply to get the next monster transformation that I really want. The next two monsters that I'm going to get uh, for Krom and Isis there, those are going to be the ones that I really want. And they're very good. So, best ones we can get at this point uh, without going through a lot of transformations. So, And Jean, she's really been gaining the HP, but she still doesn't have any attack abilities. I mean, this is totally bizarre. It's never happened to me before. But, although I am getting quite a bit of mana and HP, so, I mean, to put it in perspective, usually I have maybe 100 HP for my mutants, if not, if that, you know, so, you know, just the way it's being proportionally, uh, you know, given to me, I guess. And finally for Tifa, I got her strength up to 49 there with my gold. Um, I suppose I could do more, but 49 is enough for now. That'll make rocks very accurate. And uh, someone was saying with Rock, that's probably an abbreviation for Rocket, which kind of makes sense given the other weapons that you can get later, like a missile, launcher, I would assume, or a Balkan cannon. I think there's a weapon called Balkan in this game. Eh, whatever. But yeah, I don't know why they would abbreviate Rocket like that, but I suppose that would make sense. I mean, why would you throw a rock at an enemy? <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but... And we still got some submachine guns. I bought some more when I went back, and... I also got some more electric books because I'm going to need them. So let's move along and try to find Sirayu down here. Let's find that castle. Go around here. My mutant can't stop gaining HP. Okay. Let's head to the left then. One, two, three, four quarters. No. This is just the path that we want to go through. Now, anywhere else just is a dead end, so just head straight down. Uh-oh. Oh, well, we got a stealth attack, so there you go. Okay, well, we're not doing too bad then. Let's see. One rock ought to be able to take out uh, the big guy there. And, yeah, let's take on the rhino then. He's the, He's the most powerful monster in this battle. Uh, got about 150 HP. Wow, that's amazing. Love that rock. Yeah. I'm gonna call it Rock. I mean, Rocket sounds kinda cool, but I like Rock a little better. Nothing beats good old Rock. Oh, I got a new ability for my mutant. Uh, not an attack ability, but it's a decent one. Barrier. Uh, what it does is it increases everyone's defense by 10. So it's a decent ability. I guess it'll keep me from having to waste electric book books all the time, because her agility's so high, she'll use an electric book before anyone else can get anything in to, like, finish off a monster or something. So, that'll help out. All right. And here is the Undersea Castle. Music's a little cheery for an Undersea Castle with monsters inside. Let's take a look around. Oh, and there's Octopi, who are going to be trying to kill us. Uh, they can blind you. But, um, I was saying earlier, monsters can, uh, darkness is bugged in this game. Uh, that's not exactly true. What darkness does is it cuts your agility in half, which theoretically should, uh, cut your H, or cut your hit percentage in half, but it doesn't. It's a, a weird way how they calculate hit percentage, so, um, yeah, it doesn't really hurt nearly as much as you think it would, so I'm not worried about that at all. But you can fight them over and over again, so if you want to grind for gold, like you got four humans in your party for some godforsaken reason, well, that's one way you can get the gold for them. So, let's go. Now, those are the stairs to the next floor where we eventually want to go, but not yet. Let's head around here. We want to get to that door up there. Out of my way. Wow, I didn't know the octopi could go up that high on the door. Get out of my way! Move! There we go. Apparently a storage room where we can get the blue key. We'll need that to open some doors, so let's backtrack then. Huh. The chest is full again. You can get the blue key over and over again, apparently, after the end of the battle or something. Weird. 
You don't need more than one, so get out of my way, Actipat. There we go. Well, I suppose it was just one octopus I was fighting there. Whatever. Let's at least make it to the next floor. Lousy geckos. Keep on trying to sell me car insurance. Okay, well this looks like a good place to stop, so... Well, you know what? I got a little bit of time. Since I'm going to let this ability go anyway, eventually, let's use teleport. We can go to any floor we want, just move it around. So let's go to, like, say, the third floor. And here we are. That's the last door we entered on the third floor. So we can use that. We can go anywhere we want in the tower. So, But no, we don't want to do that. So that's all the time I have for this episode of Let's Play The Final Fantasy Legend. Next time, I'll continue through the Undersea Castle and try to find Siraiu. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.